welcome back. This is the RPA Champion and in today's video we are going to be learning how to create a condition in Microsoft Power Automate. Conditions are very important. They are very important because they will allow us to control the logical flow of our power automation flow or our, of our automation. So to save us some time, I have already created a simple process that just holds some variables. Now we will use this uh, use these variables and create different conditions to see how conditions can work inside of our flow. Uh, just for to make it a little bit nicer, it's always practice to have a good naming convention for all of your variables and all of your actions and steps inside of Power Automate. It makes it so much easier later on when the flow has dozens maybe of different connections and different steps uh, it is a little bit easier to work with and to reference it and it makes more sense this in the end translates into an easier maintenance down the line so uh, what we need to do is we need to add a control a control condition and once we add the control condition we are presented with the yes and with the no meaning true or false or one or one or zero now we can check for different things. So to use a condition, we would, for example, add a variable, perform a different condition, if it's equal to the other variable, if it's less than, if it's greater than, and so on. And then the condition would work and it would return true or false based on the output of the condition. But that's not everything. There is more to it. So let's just try this basic one, uh, N2, which is my variable number two and let's do this, this one so and as an action we are going to send an email and we'll say true and in this one we will say false We will use the same person. So like this, we can check how our condition is working. So if we go to number two, number two is three, is equal to number four. Number four is six. So if three is equal to four, again, the $1 million question is, is this true or false? So if it's true, we will get one email. If it's false, we will get another email. I will not be revealing the answer yet. So let's test our flow and see how this flow is behaving. The condition has, the flow has run successfully. Now we can go into our Gmail and see what email we have received. False. So the answer to this, uh, the answer is false. Therefore, our condition did work. The uh, the expression was uh, was worked, and it returned us uh, with uh, the flow proceeded in the direction where the condition has sent it. Very well. Now we have seen how a simple condition works. But as I said before there is more to it. Now, first of all, we can add expressions inside of our condition. So if we need to uh, manipulate the variable or the data that we are putting inside of our condition, we can use an expression and work on that, uh, on that variable. Additionally, we can also add multiple conditions nested inside a single condition. What does that mean? That means in this case it's and, so if this condition is met and this condition is met, then do this, then execute and go in which way. So how would that work? So let's uh, let's select again two variables. Let's choose n1 
and n3. So we know that this one is false. So it works. The first one is executed, and the second one has to be also be fulfilled for the answer of this to be true, meaning that this has to be true and this has to be true for yes to be sent. In the other case, this has to be false and this has to be false for the no to be sent. Additionally, or alternatively, we can also change the end to an or, and in this way, it will either be, it's either this one that is fulfilled or this one that is fulfilled and then execute the different conditions. We can also add further additional conditions, or we can also add a nested set of conditions. Now, how does that work? Again, I could use two variables, and this would work in this way. So if this condition is true, and this one, if this one or this one are true, but this one has to include also this one. So you can see that uh, you can kind of go a little bit, uh, you can nest as many conditions as you want and create the nested logic that you would require. Uh, obviously creating too much nested logic is, is difficult to maintain later on. So there, uh, I would recommend using a different way if you have uh, over six or seven <laughs> different nested, nested steps inside a condition. This is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something from this video and that this was informative. Conditions are very important in successfully creating uh, logical flows in Microsoft Power Automate. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a thumbs up and all the best.